Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Anderson and the lesson today is called Eating to Kill. Eating to Kill. Now I'm not talking about eating to kill yourself, I'm talking about something else. The question I have for you today is why do 95% of people who try to lose weight in any kind of diet system there is fail? Why do 95% of us fail? That means within two years of losing weight, we put it all back again. I'll tell you the reason. The reason is eating to kill. Now, I got my notebook today and my glasses, so I have to read you some stuff because there's too much information for me to just list it off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I think that every single diet program that there is works for a little bit. And then something happens. And all of a sudden, you're starting to eat again, and you don't know why. And you put all that weight, sometimes even more, back on. You hate yourself. You think something's wrong with you. You think you're lazy, undisciplined, bad, all kinds of terrible things. Then you suffer with the weight until you try a new diet. Guess what? It doesn't work. Why is that? I think I have discovered the real reason that diets don't work and why we put on weight and what we need to do, this is not an easy answer, but it's what we need to do to really lose weight and keep it off. I call it eating to kill. That's my phrase for it. Now, I'm going to give you ten quick points here. I think you'll find out as I give them to you that this makes a lot of sense. The process. We have an unpleasant or a difficult feeling. It might be anger, it might be anxiety, it might be loneliness, but that feeling is truly unpleasant and sometimes even scary to us. Whatever that feeling is, it's, it's really uncomfortable. Number two, we are unwilling or unable to do what I call be with the feeling. We cannot allow it just to be. We want to get rid of it. So that's number two. We're unwilling or unable to be with that feeling. Number three, we naturally search for a way to make the feeling go away. In my terminology, we find or search for a way to kill the feeling. We want to kill it. We want to make it go away. We don't like how it feels. It's painful. It's uncomfortable. It's, it's uh, disconcerting. We want to make it go away. So we look for something to kill it. That's why I call it eating to kill. We're eating to kill an unpleasant feeling. Number four, we quickly discover that comfort food, certain kinds that are special for you or special for me, kill the feeling. It makes the feeling dissipate, go away, lessen, or sometimes even disappear for a brief amount of time. So we find a comfort food that works that way. And number five, we then begin to use the comfort food as a drug of choice in order to kill and manage our uncomfortable, difficult emotions. That, my friends, means that we become, at that point, food addicts. When we use comfort food on a regular basis as a drug of choice, I'm telling you, it is a drug. You know it, and I know it. To kill a difficult feeling, we become a drug addict. A food addict. Number six, when we do this process, guess what? We get fat. We get fatter. Number seven, then we try diet and exercise as a way to lose weight. The problem with diet and exercise without deeper understanding of what's going on for you is that it doesn't work. We lose weight. That's number eight. We try the diet and exercise for a short period of time. Of course it works. We lose weight. Number nine. Then, guess what? The difficult feelings come back. They intensify. And we return to our drug of choice, comfort food, to kill the feelings. And it works. It takes the feelings away. But number ten, we get fat all over again. What's the solution to this process? We have a difficult feeling. We find that comfort food is a drug of choice to make the feeling go away. And 
it drives us to comfort food. We eat, we get fatter, then we feel bad. We try diet and exercise and start the process all over again. The solution, and I said it's not an easy solution, but it works. I believe ultimately it is the only way to finally deal with meaningful long-term weight loss. We have to identify the, the emotions that we eat to kill. And we have to learn new and healthy ways to deal with them. You have to learn how to be with your anxiety. You have to learn that anxiety is that emotion that drives you to eat your comfort food. Even if you've lost 30 pounds and you're so proud of it, the anxiety comes up so intensely, you go back to your drug of choice. You have to think of yourself at that point as an addict. I'm a food addict. That happened to me. And I didn't lose my 65 pounds until I figured this out. So, this is a hard process, but it is real, and it does provide results. So, if we've learned how to eat to kill, we can also learn how to identify those emotions, deal with them in healthy ways, and then free ourselves from that devastating food addiction cycle that makes all of us fat over and over and over again. God bless you.